Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate LAO reports with your framework. LAO framework is another test report tool that shows a very concise representation of your test execution. We can integrate LAO reports with almost every kind of test framework we have. Like we can integrate LDO reports with TestNG, JUnit, Cucumber, NUnit, Specflow, and all the test frameworks that are available in the market. Today, in this video, I'm going to show how to integrate the LDO report with Specflow. For the rest of the framework, I'll cover the same in upcoming videos. So let's get started. To integrate LEO reports with our test framework, first of all, we need to install or download the LEO framework on our machine. And to download it, you can search for LEO reports. And then open this web page docs.qmeta.io. Here they have provided a detailed documentation to show how to configure the LUR framework on your machine, and then how you can generate LUR reports for different kinds of test framework. If I click here, then we can see the steps to do the LUR installation. If your operating system is Linux, then you can perform below steps to install it. If it's Mac, then this is the command to install LUR. With the help of Homebrew. And for Windows, you can use the command scoop install Allure with the help of scoop. Apart from these command line installations, you can also install the Allure manually. And for this, first we need to download the zip file from this link. Once downloaded, then we can unpack the zip file where we need to navigate to the bin folder which contains the leo.batch file. And then we need to set the path of leo.batch file in environment variables. So first let's click on here. And then we can click on the latest version of leo. After that, click on the zip file to download the leo setup. You can download the other file formats based on your requirement. And then you can unpack to get the leo.bat file. So the download is complete. Now let's open this in File Explorer to unpack it. Here you can see that we have this leo 2.19 folder, which contains these folders, including bin. And if I go to the bin folder, then we can see that we have leo.bat file available here. Now let me copy this leo folder from the download location to my workspace. Once done, then go to the leo.bat file. And then copy the path of the batch file, which we need to set in the path environment variable. Now let me open the environment variables. Here I can add a new entry for leo.bat file. Save the changes. Now, to confirm if the path has been set up correctly or not, we can open the command prompt and then type earlier hyphen hyphen version. If your path is set up correctly, then it will display the earlier version. So we are done with the earlier configuration on the window system. And now the next step is to integrate LEO reports 
with the framework so that we can get the test result output in Allure format. Let me open the project first. And here, first, I need to install the specflow.allure package to generate the Allure reports. So I'll go to Manage NuGet Packages. Here, I'm going to type Allure specflow. And then I need to install this specflow.allure package. So the installation is done and you can see that we have got the Allure config JSON file which contains all the configuration like the directory where we want to generate the Allure results. If we don't specify the directory over here then it will copy the Allure results folder in default directory based on the project type. These all are the different configuration settings which we can use to customize the report. Now the next thing is to have the test in your framework written in the specflow feature file. And I've already have some tests available with me. So let me open the test explorer so that I can do the test execution. And then we can see the test result in Allure format. Here I have these tests written in specflow, which I can execute to generate the report. If I open this test here, then you can see this is my specflow feature file, which contains these two test scenarios. After that, the last thing which I need to configure is to provide the specflow Allure plugin detail in specflow.json file. Here I have this specflow JSON file. And to provide the plugin details, I can add step assembly against which I need to provide the assembly name that is Allure dot specflow plugin. So that's all we need to perform from configuration standpoint. Now we are ready to generate our test execution results in the form of LEO reports. So let me run the test now. You can see the execution has started. So first, it will search for a Selenium C Sharp book. And after that, in second scenario, it will search for Selenium Java book. Once the execution is done, then we'll get our LEO results in default or specified directory. And then using those LEO JSON files, we can generate our LEO HTML report. So the execution is done. Now let me open the project in File Explorer so that we can see our LEO results. For an unit project, the default directory where the LEO results will be generated is under the bin folder. You can see we have this LEO results folder created over here. If you want to generate the LEO results in some other places, then you can provide the directory in the LEO config file. Here in this LEO result folder, you can see we have got the test execution results in form of LEO JSON files. Now using these LEO JSON files, we can generate our LEO HTML report. And to do that, let me open the command prompt first. After that, we need to type the command as Allure space serve 
space the folder name where all your JSON files are placed and then hit enter. You can see it prompted with the message that generates the report to temp directory. So once the report is done, then it will automatically open in the default browser. Here you can see that we have got our earlier HTML reports. In this report, we have different tabs for overview, categories, suits. Here under suits, we can see the test execution results, which are basically in the form of specflow feature file format. We can also go to the graphs tab, where we get the test execution status in graphical representation. And here we have these other tabs as well. So this is the default LEOR HTML report, which we have generated. We can also customize these reports based on our requirement. I'll cover all those configurations in upcoming videos. That's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.